Good morning, viewers. This is Hotline News, where we only serve truthful and accurate news. The first news is about natural disaster. Floods hit throughout the capital city. For more information, will be explained by Miss Oliviani. Thank you, Talia. The news now is a natural disaster. Floods hit 54 areas of the capital city on Tuesday, disrupting traffic and the operation of public transportation. The National Disaster Mitigation Agency, or BNPB, reported that thousands of houses were inundated by flood waters reaching various levels, ranging from 10 cm to 150 cm. The flood occurred because the city's drainage system cannot accommodate the overflowing water. BNPB spokesperson Sutopo Puwonegroho said it in a press release. Sutopo said the 54 areas were located in South Jakarta, East Jakarta, and North Jakarta. The floods have also affected the operation of public transportation. Rail operator PT Kai Commuter Jaburitawik spokesperson Eva Kaurinsa said, however, that the full waters that had affected several stations across the city had begun to recede and normal service could resume shortly. However, we still have long quest at Jatinegara station in East Jakarta due to signal disruption as a result of the inundation, she said. Besides, the capital city, Tangerang and Bekasi have also been affected by heavy rainfall and flooding. The BNPB is currently collecting data from several sources, including the Jakarta Disaster Mitigation Agency and the general public. We have received four 101 reports so far, he said. Thank you very much. The flood is caused by city drainage system that cannot um, accumulate the overflowing water. The second news is about sport. Bayern Munchen claimed trophy in the club board final. Let's hear more from Mr. Mauladi. Congratulations for Bayern Munich who claimed a sixth trophy in a year with one new victory over the Tigris in the Club World Cup final. In Jamin Papa's second half goal ensured the German side continues its remarkable run under Hansi Flick adding to the Champions League, UEFA Super Cup and three domestic titles all won in the space of year and achievement all only matched by Barcelona in 2009. As expected, Bayern enjoyed far more attacking chance than, than the Mexican side Tigris, the first North American side to reach the Club World Cup final at Khalifa International Stadium in Qatar. But it was only midway through the second half that the Bundesliga leader went ahead. Bayern celebrates winning the Club World Cup in Qatar. Robert Lewandowski was initially deemed to the to be upside in the build-up to Pavard strike into an open net, but a video video assistant referee review revealed that Carlos Salcedo Hill had put the striker on side. The victory also means that Flick has won more trophies than his suffered defeat as Bayern manager. Bayern which defeat Egypt Al Ahli 2-0 in the semi-finals was that was with our Jerome Boateng absent through personal reason and Thomas Muller who returned a positive coronavirus Test ahead of the game. Joshua Kimmich seemed to have given Bayern the lead at 18 minutes with a booming shot into the bottom corner, but the goal was disallowed after Lewandowski was called offside despite not touching the ball. After perfect opener, Bayern had further chance to extend his lead. As Corinthian Tolisso shot was saved onto the post by Natal Guzman and Salcedo almost 
headed into his own goal after a mix up with Guzman. Defender Pavard celebrated his goal during the Club World Cup final. Substitute Douglas Costa also had opportunities left on, but the score remained 1 0 and Bayern had yet another piece of silverware. It's the second time Bayern has won the Club World Cup, which pits continental champions against each other. It's another is another in a knockout tournament after victory in 2013. It's the second time Bayern has won the World Cup. Congratulations! The third news is about education. Fire guided 12 classrooms at the Yayasan Pendidikan Islam. The details will be described by Mr. Pradito. Twelve classroom destroyed in school fire. Jakarta fire with the twelve classroom at Yayasan Pendidikan Umat Islam YPU Senior High School in Kebayoran Lama, South Jakarta on yesterday morning. Kebayoran Lama Sub District Sip Budi Wibowo said that the fire was absolutely caused by a short circuit in one of the room in the school at around seven. 30 a.m. Due to the fire, all school activity would be moved to Nervi School, Billy said. I have talked with the school and education agency and they will relocate school activity to elementary school SD0305 and 06 in Chibuta. Budi said, as quoted by BritaJakarta.com, head of the operational unit at the Short Jakarta Fire Agency, Mukta Zakaria, said that they had deployed a total of 18 fire trucks to extinguish the fire. The last news is about health. The case of coronavirus keeps growing in the middle of February. The total case of the disease reaches 109 million in the world. Let's see more from Mr. Fahri. Thank you, Talia. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that are known to cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe disease such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. And we also know that it is came from Wuhan, China. This course provides a general introduction to COVID-19 and emerging respiratory viruses and is intended for public health professionals, incident managers, and personnel working for the United Nations, international organizations, and NGOs. In Indonesia, the first case of COVID-19 reported on March 2, 2020, after WHO declaring COVID-19 a pandemic, all the activities such as working and studying are done in homes. However, the case of coronavirus keeps growing. In the middle of February, the total case of the disease reaches 109 million in the world and 1.22 million people in Indonesia, and increasing by about 700 people every day. The president also issued regulation regarding the pandemic government regulation number 21 per 2020 is issued to regulate the large-scale social restriction or known as PSBB in Indonesia, and is implemented in coordination and collaboration with various parties in accordance with statutory provisions. The government has received 1.2 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine made by Sinovac, announced by President Joko Widodo on Sunday, December 6, 2020. Another 1.8 million doses are expected to arrive in January 2021. Besides finished vaccines, Indonesia is expecting 15 million doses in the form of bulk roll materials to arrive this month and around 30 million in January 2021, which will be further processed by Indonesia mayor pharmaceutical company Biopharma. The government hopes the vaccine will effectively prevent the spread of COVID-19. I hope it is there. Thank you. The government hopes the vaccine will effectively prevent the spread of COVID-19. The coronavirus case is still growing, but if we stay at home and obey health protocol, we can fight it together. If we obey the rules, 
Stay healthy and stay at home. I'm Talia and I bid farewell. Thank you.